Hello. How are you doing? Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. Oh, this is my friend David. Oh, hey, David. How you? I've never seen you before. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no. He's famous in some circles. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Where? What? What he are you famous for? Chalk circles. Uh, he was like one of the men in a female-dominated show. I think it was Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. Oh, Golden Girls. 1987. Um, I guessed it on that. I was uh, B. Arthur's boyfriend. For like, yes, okay. So I was making out with Bia. He tried to make it real. B, we're both old jarheads, so we, we knew what we were talking about. I have a feeling you did. Yeah, we got we got down with it. I'm no, I'm no, I'm not afraid of really anything. <laughs> Let's see. Except real fire. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Yeah. I don't want to char myself. No. One thing that uh, we we're, we're seeing, we're, a lot of people have seen and they're upset about and have done an ugly cry. I asked Joe about it. Was Yuri leaving? Yeah. Did you do an ugly cry? Uh, it's been a hard time for us. It's not. It's not. Uh, you know. It's. It's hard, in a simple way, to see the character go. But in a more, you know, in a deeper sense, it's when we've been eight years with somebody, uh, and we watched. Yuri came here. He was 23, and he, you know, he's gone on to. You know, he's going to do wonderful things. But he's 30 years old now, and we've watched him go from a young man into, you know, a whole nother wave of his life, and it's, it's had a deep impact on us, and. Uh, yeah, when I really started thinking about the specifics of it and what it meant that he wouldn't be around for anymore, and his his participation, his input in, in not just in the show, but in the 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 greater majority of our time is spent not making the show, waiting for something, waiting for a setup, waiting for the fire to be set just right, resetting a stunt or something like that. That's cumulative hours and hours spent together Thousands. and so just knowing we won't have them around for that is really kind of heartbreaking what is the most silliest moment that you guys have had like behind the scenes not on screen but behind the scenes because behind the scenes is where it gets really juicy to me it's the best yeah uh, most of the things that we've done really can't be repeated can't be I was just thinking like the the top three for me are, are things I can't even really touch upon just know that it's a sort of raunchy inappropriate. and inappropriate, but there's certain boundaries that we don't quite cross, but it's still not suitable for network television. Okay. Okay. It's all good. We're not cruel to each other, but we're, we're playful to the point of um, irritation. Yeah. No, I get it, because yeah. I've worked in a news station, so things can get yeah. really... Nice. Really, really weird behind the scenes. It's because when the camera's rolling, in your in your case too, when the camera's rolling, you are having to walk a line, you walk a tightrope of behavior that you can't fall to either side of. So when you're not in front of the camera and the camera's not rolling, you really kind of want to spill spill it all out. Yeah. No, I feel you. I, I appreciate you guys. It's always fun. I try to give some of the view or people that watch my interviews some different you know david a little bit different you know hey thank you thank you all right thanks guys <laughs> lovely to see you too all the best